and welcome back to Doctors on TV. Mga kasambahay, we're still talking about Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder with us, Pediatrician and Behavioral Developmental Specialist, Dr. Jocelyn Eusebio of UERM. Yes. Yes. Kailangan ko sabihin talaga. Yeah. <laughs> the favorite teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Doctora, meron, meron akong question. Uh, ito bang diagnosis na ito ay nagagawa lang sa mga bata? Meron bang mga adults na, considered adults na, yes. ma, hindi pa rin nila nakokontrol ang mga ADHD? Mm -hmm. Because ADHD is lifelong. Oh, okay. It is lifelong. But the hyperactivity in children, you do not see that in adults anymore. Mm -hmm. Ang mas prominent is inattention. Okay. Yung restless, fidgety, lack of focus and or mm -hmm. concent concentration. Impulsivity pa rin, talkative, impatient, mm -hmm. yan. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga, ang adults usually, hindi sila nakakatagal sa work. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Laging changing work. <laughs> oh. And even uh, uh, getting courses. Course or calling. Oh, oh. oh. they, they would shift from one course to the other. Pwede pa ba kami nag-refer ng adult pa sa'yo, ma'am? Why not? <laughs> in, fact, <laughs> in fact, I am also uh, seeing some adult uh, okay, uh, patients. Pero... Most of the time, na pupunta na sila sa psychiatry. Oh, yes. okay. Kasi may comorbidities ang ano ha? Associated. Like what, like what doctor? Uh, just like oppositional defiant disorder, mm, yeah. conduct disorder, oh, at saka anxiety disorder. Oh, oh, right. oh. Anxiety disorder. Oh, okay. Especially those conduct disorder, dapat earlier talaga ma correct oh, na. Oh, kasi Or ito else? yung batang you know aggressive. Mm -mm. Tapos, not only to people, but even to animals. Have you heard of a child putting a cat inside the ano, washing machine? Oh my mm. God! Yeah. Oh. So, so, oh, 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 Or tapos, tapos setting up fire. Mm -mm. Oh, stealing. Yeah. Yan na yung conduct disorder. So parang mga pwede silang magkaroon ng parang crime na... Criminal tendencies. Actually na, most of these untreated ADHD children will eventually end up as... Criminals. Oh no, okay. Or getting into substance abuse. Yeah. Oh, oh. Doctora, gaano na... Nagiging antisocial. Gaano na ba kalala ang ADHD sa ating bansa? Well, the prevalence worldwide is about 3 to 5 percent naman. That's still a bit oh, high, no? Yeah. High. Oh, yes. One out of 20, oh, one out of 30 oh, siguro. It is quite high. Pero sa siguro increased awareness, because you have shows like this, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. uh, marami na ang talagang nadadiagnose Okay. And therefore, they are being helped and they're living a normal life, you know? Yes. They, Aware they go naman, no? into regular uh -huh. schools mm -hmm. for as long as they are getting the necessary treatment. Yes. Nagagawa naman ng paraan. Nagagawa. Yes. So, so if your child shows warning signs, symptoms... You have to go and seek professional help. Yun, saan po yeah. pupunta, doktor? Doktor, alam ko, konti-konti lang kayo mga development and behavior. Yeah, yeah, we're about, we're about 56 at the moment. Yeah, all over the country, yeah. Buti na lang nag-decide si Jack, no? Yes, yes. Dr. Herring kasi is our guest before. Yes, yes, yes. So, I am affiliated with UERM, St. Luke's Medical Center, and I'm also with two government hospitals, National Children's Hospital and East Avenue Medical Center. So, 3 to 4 percent is pretty high. Yes. So, dapat encourage natin yung mga doctors na mag-specialize on this field. Oh, yeah. And how is the diagnosis done, doctor? It's examination lang? It's basically behavioral. So, there is a criteria we call it the DSM-5 criteria, okay. wherein the child should fulfill at least six out of the nine symptoms of hyperactivity, impulsivity, and inattention, and it should be detected before the age of 12. 12 na ngayon, mm -hmm. that is a DSM-4-7 lang eh. Okay. And that uh -huh. it is causing significant impairment in two or more settings. So it should be present, meaning the symptoms, at home, home or, mm -hmm. and in school, school, or at work. Okay. Pag medyo malaki na, adults. Yes. Uh -huh. At saka ngayon, kasi lumawak yung uh, criteria to a certain extent na pag 17 years old and above, kahit apat na symptoms lang, mm -hmm. or lima, mm -hmm. pwede okay. na. Hindi katulad ng dati na six dapat, out of 12. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a clinical diagnosis na to? It's not yes. like you have a laboratory test or imaging test? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nine, six of nine pala, sorry. Six of nine okay. symptoms. And then once you've identified na meron nga siyang ganyan sakit, will Kailangan you... talaga siyang ma-manage, uh, mat matulungan. So early on, during the first six years, before the age of six years, 
occupational therapy, behavior therapy. Okay. But beyond six years, whether we like it or not, it should be medication plus therapy. Ah, okay. So, you may gamot pala talaga. May gamot na. Yeah. So, yan ba yung play therapy? Kasi minsan narinig na ako uh, sa mga bata. That's part of the occupational therapy occupational or the behavior therapy, therapy yes. Oh. Because they are being taught on how to wait for their turn. Kasi pag impulsive ka, di ba? Yes. Hindi ka makapag-wait. No, 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 no. I always want to be first. <laughs> yes. Naku, ang dami kong nakikita ang adults. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hindi na lang. Hindi na lang. Hindi na lang. Ako, bumibila, sabi niya, can you please wait for a turn? Yeah, di ba? Sa pila. Sa pila. Oh, Magdadrive na lang eh. So Ay, mag-refer ka na. Yeah, Mag-refer ka na. Marami. <laughs> yes. Ngayon, Doktora, um, nutritionally, are, is there any, have you ever encountered any patients that responded to diet? Kasi there are a lot of articles that come out that say, you know, avoid artificial food coloring, Sugar. avoid artificial... It is such uh, a very you know, controversial mm -hmm. issue, but there are some studies to prove that DHA, Okay. Yes. Essential fatty acids, supplements, can help okay. in improving the hyperactivity symptoms and so on. Uh -huh. But as far as eliminating sugar or artificial, artificial preservatives, controversial. Yun. Controversial. Oh, okay. Yeah, very controversial. Because sugar is hyperactive. <laughs> but what we tell parents is that everything should just be in moderation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And naman. you really yeah. have to avoid yung mga maraming food coloring, in general, additives, yes. in, in general. In general, in general, general sa health yeah. concerns. Yes. Are there any <laughs> metabolic complications <laughs> yeah. resulting from ADHD? I mean, are they more prone to get hypertension or diabetes? Well, or other uh, the medicine kasi that they're going to take, we just have to monitor them because it can increase the heart rate, the blood pressure, it can also affect the liver and the kidneys. But usually naman, we give the medicine according to the uh, um, uh, therapeutic dose based on their weights. And we monitor naman their liver and kidneys and the heart mm -hmm. every 6 to 12 mm -hmm. months. No? So more of possible side effects lang from the intake of medication. Pero possible naman, Doktora, na hindi kailangan nilang mag-take ng medicine na ito for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kasi actually, as they grow older and mature, eventually they have self-control. Eh. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. ba? Oh, yes. So at, at one point in time, the child will say, Ay, mami, kaya ko na without the good boy. I, I usually refer it as a good boy vitamin para parang hindi nila ma, ma, ano, <laughs> mami misinterpret na gamot, you know? Kasi baka may, yes. may sakit sila. Kailangan ko oh, kailangan ng gamot. At mental pa. <laughs> oh, yeah. So with the support of the uh, family. Ay, importante and, yun. Yes. And, the, and the school. school. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Kasi school usually, plays a vital role really. Sa school, na ano sila eh, mm -hmm. na, na stigmatize sila talaga eh. Oh, oh. So if your classmates, no? Na may oh, yes. kasi may sakit ka. So we tell the parents to be upfront and tell the school about, inform the school about their child's condition, so that the teacher yes, can have a better understanding. Kung na bakit nagmi misbehave yung bata, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Um, with the ADHD, may mga ibang patients po ba na with some learning disabilities I, as well? It is also one of the co, ano, morbid conditions, learning disability. And we have talked about it for mm. uh, one week here. <laughs> From this lecture to this calculia, this yes. graphia, and so on. Yes, okay, okay. it is coexisting with ADHD. It's another thing that dapat maging aware yung mga yes, teacher so that yes, they'll be more tolerant. Yes, no? yes. If your partnership, no? Yung yes. family tsaka yung school. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. So anyway, moving on to our next segment, panoorin naman natin si Doc Steph on women's health. Doc Steph? <music> 